traveling. Oh my God. All right. Um, let, let, let's try to, let's try to. I'm sorry to throw you off with all these crazy stories, brother. No, I love them. I love them. Um, you, you got to tell me. Cause I know what, what was you, uh, what was you on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Was you a writer? Was you yes. an actor? I wrote you the were... Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for uh, four seasons. Four I was seasons. on it. I was on it from 93 to 97. So okay. the question I get the most is, were you with the dark skin Aunt Viv or the light skin Aunt Viv? And I always <laughs> tell people the, the true story. I never met the dark skin Aunt Viv. I literally came the month she was gone. I was Daphne Maxwell Reed, who played the light skin. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so, uh, and people always ask me, they're like, yo, man, how, how did you become a writer on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know? Did you take writing class? Did you go to writing school? I'm like, brother, I I am the epitome of the right place at the right time. I tell the story every day. I I, I was a broke stand-up comic. I had $11 in my pocket. Hot the bus to the Loud Factory Comedy Club up in Hollywood. I had only been doing comedy six months. I probably only had five minutes of material. Um, uh, like I said, sat in a 13-hour line. Did my thing that night, got off stage. Will Smith was sitting in the front row of the comedy club. Like, hold, hold on, hold on. Before you go forward, before you go forward, was, was this somebody huge headlining that night that you not didn't know? Not at all. It was so a regular, me. I remember it like it was yesterday, July 2nd, 1992. It was a regular Tuesday night comedy show where, say, Tuesday night for the last 40 years has been amateur night at the Laugh Factory, right? Mm -hmm. Best comedy club in LA since the beginning of time. Um, and it's the night that's an open mic from like seven to nine. Like literally, if you have a 702 spot, there's nobody in the crowd. You go on at 730, there might be 10 people in the room. You go on at eight, then yeah, there might be 30, 40 people in there. But what happened was I went, it, like, when I tell you, God was on my side. I was the last out of all the amateurs. So Will obviously got there late for the regular comedy show, the eight o'clock show, but enough that it was now a packed room. So he got there about nine o'clock. I was the last of the amateurs. So imagine being an amateur comic. You don't even have three minutes of material and you're in a packed house in the hottest comedy club in LA. And you only been doing comedy six months. He was sitting in the front row. And thank God this was way before he was slapping people, right? So okay, hold on, hold on, because I, I got to interject. Did, did, by the time that you went on, did yeah. you know Will Smith? Because at that time, no. Will Smith. No, he's a superstar, <laughs> but as a, but I didn't know, I, no, I knew who he was, but I didn't did know he was in the room. I, Okay, you know that's what, I mean? what I'm asking. So, so your nerves are, are, are regular. You you going up there? I'm an amateur yeah. comic. I got nerves, but it exactly. ain't with steroids because I know Will Smith. Is I'm not. There. I'm not sitting in the audience to see who's here. I was just in the comedy bullpen, and they're like, "Are right, you up next?" No credits. I had to tell the nigga my name. Alex Thomas bought me up, and he was sitting in the front row. Now, what I saw him in the front row when I did my shit. But after the show, he was like, yo, man, you real funny, man. My name is, I was like, I know who the hell you are. You Will Smith. He goes, yeah, man, I got this brand new TV show. I was like, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I, I watch it every week. It had only been two on uh, two years at that time. He goes, let me ask you a question. He goes, you were real funny, man. I'm like, oh, thanks, bro. He goes, um, he goes, do you write? I'm like, shit, you got a pen? <laughs> He's like, do you think you'd come down and help us with some funny stuff on the show? Like, like, like what you did tonight? I was, I was like, hold, hold on, let me check my schedule. Uh, uh, yes, I'm available. He goes, do you, when do you think you could come down? I'm like, shit, now? Can I get a ride with you? <laughs> and the rest was history. I was literally there the next day, for four years. And that's how I became friends of the family and people that I'll be friends with for the rest of my life. You know, wow. so that's why I don't have anything bad to say about Will Smith, because he gave me my start. That was my first real check in Hollywood. And from being on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, it just opened up every single door for me. TV, film, movies, like literally every black show that came on 
uh, in the 90s after Fresh Prince, early 2000s. I was literally on it, behind it, working on it to some capacity, whether it was warm ups or I was on the show. I'm talking, I was worked on Living Single for four years. I worked on Moesha for four years. I worked on the Parkers for five years. I worked on the Wayans Brothers for five years. I worked on all of us for the whole the season. My wife and kids, like literally every black show that a whole generation grew up on, I was a part of it in some kind of way. So it just opened up every door for me. You know, let, let, let's have a serious moment because it, this is this is one of those things. when something is for you when when mm -hmm. when 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 God got to, when God truly has something for you, just go after it. Amen. Don't, don't worry about how you gonna get to it. Don't mm -hmm. if if He put it in your heart, this is for you. This is what your passion is. This, this was meant. This was meant to happen for me. I, I realized at an early stage in the game all the ways you can get paid in this business, right? Whether you're doing acting, comedy, you know, stand up to, to animation, to producing, to writing. I was like, I'm not gonna go back to a regular job when I could do what I love and make some money and live and survive. So here I am 30 years later without ever having to have a regular job with a wife and kids, you know what I mean? So I can't even act like I'm not blessed. You Incredible. know what I mean? Longevity. You know, though, everybody worry about how they're going to get to the finish line. Just, just keep Stay the course. The Stay the course. It. Stay the Stick course. Stick to the course. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.